Prior to 1968, FCC rules allowed one single company to own and operate all of the public telephone lines throughout the entire United States. All other companies were prohibited to directly connect any device to the public switched telephone network. The intent was to prevent potential damage to our nationwide communication infrastructure. This single company also manufactured and owned all of the equipment that was connected to these lines, including every telephone, in every home, and every business across the country. All of this changed in 1968 when a small company called Carter Electronics challenged these FCC rules and won. The door was then opened for other companies to manufacture equipment that could be connected to the telephone network. Many of these companies chose to manufacture business telephone systems, spawning an entirely new service industry of integrators to install and maintain these systems. As more and more business telephone systems were installed, companies found it important to be able to use them to make announcements throughout their facilities. This was originally done by connecting the phone system to a high voltage central amplifier that was wired to a chain of speakers throughout a building. These old-fashioned paging systems had their drawbacks. The amplifiers generated a lot of heat that led to frequent failures. They also required expensive shielded cabling to prevent their high voltage signal from interfering with other electronic equipment. In 1977, Valcom introduced a more efficient method of delivering voice pages and announcements throughout a facility. By introducing distributed amplification, which is also known as self-amplification, Valcom did away with a large, high-voltage central amplifier and replaced it with small, low-voltage amplifiers on each individual speaker. This technology delivers a more reliable solution that generates very little heat and uses inexpensive, widely available category cable. In the 1980s, when personal computing was in its infancy, Valcom recognized that digital technology would revolutionize the way that organizations communicate. As such, we became an early pioneer of digital voice products, including software for ISDN modems. Valcom introduced microprocessor-controlled software programmable intercoms for schools and industry in the 1990s. In the early 2000s, Valcom introduced several TCP IP voice products, creating a foundation for a highly reliable network platform used in critical military and industrial applications. Valcom continued to drive industry innovation by introducing the first IP PoE loudspeakers and endpoints. Today, our diverse IP product line is the foundation for most new systems, providing extremely capable, flexible, and future-proof solutions for a wide range of applications. In the late 2000s, Valcom evolved software paging into robust IP unified mass notification systems that are now used extensively in higher education, commercial, industrial, and government applications. Valcom continues to develop the most technologically advanced communication solutions in the market.